two arms to hold you, two legs to walk through life with you, and one heart that beats for you. If anyone present has any reason that Dana and Julie should not be married, please speak now or forever hold your feet. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Where are you going at? It's a plan. Um, so, once Dana and Julia, or Julie, got uh, engaged, they asked if I would officiate. Well, I said yes without even thinking, realizing later that I'm Catholic, and it's kind of a no-no for Catholics to be of another religion for just a weekend to do a wedding. So, thank you, Des, wherever you went to, to uh, uh, for officiating. Um, I asked Dana if I could just say a few words. I will keep it brief, I promise. I told him I was going to talk for a 20-minute sermon. I won't do that. Uh, Dana and I are, are, are like, uh, uh, we've been really close for probably about 25 years, maybe more. And he's, like, he's more like a brother to me. And uh, uh, it's basically, <laughs> basically, I just wanted to, to say thank you, Julie, for all that you've done for Dana and Emma and... Chelsea, you two, all three of you have, I've seen Dana more happy since you met you guys than I ever have in my whole entire life, for real. Now Dana told me that he expected me to roast him, <laughs> uh, because I do know some things. <laughs> uh, so tonight when we go to the reception, if you want to know some things, I like Crown Royal. <laughs> And sometimes a lot. And uh, so, um, you know, I could roast him. I could tell stories about when we used to do farm shows. And we went to a place in Minot, North Dakota called the Yellow Rose. But I won't. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we could talk about the time we went to a, a place in another big town where we went to have supper. And Dana won a karaoke contest by accident. Wow. Um, there's another time when, when Dana got a really strange call after a farm show oh, you did. late at night <laughs> and uh, caused him to question his uh, whole life for a while. <laughs> um, you know, my, my wife and I, in all seriousness, my wife and I have been married 28 years, uh, 29, coming in August. Um, but some advice that I would love to give you guys, and you'll hear it from all the people that are married here, is... You're going to do great things together. But, you know, life is tough, and marriage is tough, and relationships are tough, and the world is throwing stuff at you all the time. But together, you can do it. Apart, if you think about life, and I do this often, if you think about your life, if you were alone, it would be so much harder to do it. When you're together, it makes it a lot easier. So, Julie, I need to apologize to you, and some advice I would have for you is that Dana is a lot like a 40-ish toddler. <laughs> and when you have immense amount of patience, you're going to have to keep doing that for a long time. I know. Uh, for your sake. I know. Uh, Dana? <laughs> It, it, uh, well, yeah. So, um, Dana, you need to learn to be a lot nicer. Um, you know, no, no, one, no one's perfect, not a single person in this room, including us standing up here. But you guys are going to do awesome, amazing things together. I can tell it. And congratulations. Thank so, you. Thank you. as unique and as beautiful as they are. By nailing these horse horseshoes to this piece of wood, it symbolizes how strong they are as individuals, but how stronger they are together.
Thank <laughs> you. 